Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video this is going to be my Air Tycoon 4 series. <laughs> now last time uh, we were setting up uh, routes with the MD-11 and we also replaced our 737 300s with the uh, MD-90s. And uh, yeah, uh, that's what we did then. And I did say last episode that because both the A330 and A321 came out this episode, uh, last episode. And yeah, we are going to be replacing uh, both my um, uh, my uh, 757s with A321s, and hopefully make a start on trying to get the A300s replaced. I don't know whether they will all be replaced because, as I said at the end of last episode, um, that is going to cost quite a bit. Um, yeah, how much was the 83rd? I can't remember what I said. I thought it would be, I think I said it would be around about 200,000. I should have a look what it is. Uh, but yeah, we'll be doing the 8321 first, because uh, yeah, that's actually cheaper. Uh, so yeah, right, uh, A330. Uh, that is uh, 201 million, so yeah, not a uh, uh, far off what I actually said. So that times 57. Anyone can work that out? <laughs> like quickly, unless they do a calculator, uh, we put it in a calculator, 201 million times 57. Uh, yeah, that will uh, that will be uh, the second part of this episode. Uh, so yeah, uh, that will uh, be then. But now we want to have the focus on the AC21. So we're not going to be getting the AC20. Uh, we already replaced um, the uh, the uh, it, well, the MD90s. Uh, so the 300 with the MD90s. Uh, yeah, but the AC20 will not be, we will not be getting. But we will be getting the near variant of it. So we will be getting the AC21 instead. Uh, so yeah, this will be replacing the 757, uh, so yeah, uh, we in fact have the exact same amount of seating as the 757 does on my route, so yeah. And just uh, the, the most perfect plane I can replace it with, and the most modern one I can, so yeah. Uh, let's just have a look at the specs. Um, I can't remember the improvements it had. The only thing that it, it definitely, it only has a slight passenger drop on here, like max passengers, but yeah, um, it doesn't actually have a passenger drop. Uh, on my route, so uh, sort of like my cabin co configuration. Uh, I do believe it's actually faster because the uh, 757 is Mac uh, 0.7. Uh, the range is four uh, 3,479. What's the 757? It is uh, oh, over 4,000. To be honest, we didn't really use that extra range. Uh, yeah, the other 757, uh, we weren't really didn't use that. We didn't do we didn't do what um, like things like United do now, which is how they have long haul routes with the 757s, like transatlantic routes. And things like that. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't using them. I was just literally just using them, like in America and um, in my London hub as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is a, what we will, what we will be getting today. So how many was there? Was it 61 or 57? I think it was 61. We're going to be having got all the 61 of these. This is going to be a massive hassle because we're going to have to do this seven times. In fact, I'm going to order one, and then I'm going to order the uh, the rest of the six. It'll just be easier that way. And so yeah, you can order them in batches of ten. Uh, in fact, no, I just want to check the seating. I do believe this should be uh, pretty much how I want it, because, uh, yeah, I do use this aircraft quite a lot, so... I've got that, and um, we've got that. Uh, hang on, uh, in fact... That's actually got, in fact, a higher seating capacity. Wow! Okay, then! <laughs> I thought it was the same, I don't know why, but... And I did. Yeah, according to this, it's actually uh, six seats more. It's not very much more, but that's uh, still an improvement nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, we'll be just be getting that, and also for a lot cheaper. Uh, so yeah, the only thing about it is it doesn't have first class, but to be honest, we didn't really use that. So yeah, let's get those. And now we need to do six more of these. <laughs> I'll just like talk about something while I do these, just do a yeah part of the time. So. I mean, one thing they add, and I wish they added to this game uh, was, uh, yeah, the, the proper 8020 Neo series, because they do the 8020 Neo, uh, even if the wing isn't actually what it actually is, but they don't do, like, the whole series. They haven't done the 8021 Neo, they haven't done the 8021 LR, they haven't done the, um, uh, yeah, uh, what is it, the, uh, they haven't done the 8019 Neo. Uh, they need to do all of them, I think, because, I mean, they've done the, uh, the 737 Max series, uh, and, uh, yeah, they really need to do um, the 8020 uh, Neo series, because, uh, yeah, uh, that is a uh, you basically you're basically forced to um, have to use uh, the 77 Max if you have like seven uh, if you have like an 8319s, 8320s, 8321s. I mean, if you get the 8320 Neo, that you'd have to um, buy out uh, like Boeing the Boeing 77 Max uh, just to um uh, yeah uh, just so that you could um uh, yeah just so, so keep your aircraft uh, and aircraft fleet modern even if you wanted to be like a whole um. Like an Airbus only fleet, uh, like some other ones are, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, probably many would be uh, with like uh, all the 820 uh, Neo series, so yeah. 
Uh, hang on, was that 30 I think it is? 31? Um, yes it is. Let's have a look at it quickly. Uh, oh! I reckon that's actually our best livery. I mean, by the engines, like the way that they put the colours on, that sort of sort of thing is that. That's how I wanted it. That's pretty much perfect. Well, that just gives me more incentive to buy more, doesn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> just need to order 30 more of these, but... And as I said, I wish they put them in because, I mean, I am going to be doing a whole video on this, I think, because, uh, yeah, this is, there's so many things I'd like to see out of the game, and they're not really, like, they're not far-fetched improvements that they could be doing. I mean, another thing is, like, at the start of the game, um, when they, uh, like, they basically, you get the game for free, and then you, and then you do, like, 24 months of the game, I think it is, which is, uh, yeah, you just do two years of the game. And then it goes, um, oh, uh, it's a f you have to pay money to go further, as if it's a free trial. But they don't market it as a free trial. What I do is either um, uh, just have the game as two ninety nine, or whatever I had to pay for it. I think it was two ninety nine, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, you pay two ninety nine, or it says um, it said at the start that you'll have to pay afterwards and say this is a free trial for only a little bit. And so yeah, I just need to do ten more apparently, and then I'm done. And so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so, it's just, because, I mean, I paid it up front, but I mean, a lot of people won't, and then even, even if, um, like, people don't want to pay their money, at least they know they've got to pay it, it's not if they haven't seen the game before, they just jump in, start playing it, get really into it, and then suddenly they've hit a brick wall that everything's stopped because they're going to have to pay money to actually carry on through the game, that's what I, that's what I don't like, so yeah. Now all of those that AC21's ordered, we might as well just go through the turns and not just carry what I'm saying because uh, yeah, we're not going to go be getting these delivered. Uh, so yeah, uh, whoa. <laughs> well, the passage is going down because we're coming out of like December or something, I don't know. Um, I think it was February actually. Um, and then that's because we just bought a bunch of planes and that's because we sold a bunch of uh, 737s. If you sell a bunch of planes, the value does go down. Uh, oh no, we only came out of April, so yeah, that's like a low, lowest month, but we should start to come up again. Something which I did want to actually have a look at was our MD-11 routes that we set up last episode, didn't I? And uh, yeah, I guess I should just have a look at all of them uh, as well. Uh, so yeah, this one should go up a bit. In fact, we could do them all. Because if it goes to like August and like that and have a look at it, and that could be quite good. I see a very, very big increase in passengers right now that we're having. And so yeah, uh, what else is coming out? Uh, oh, the triple seven. Now that, as I did say, the triple seven is not going to be used in my airline until the MD11 goes out of production. I am going to be using the MD11 pretty much until that comes out because the triple seven has pretty much the same capacity. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're not going to actually be using that um, uh, for quite a few years. Yeah, I reckon probably about 2000 we'll start using it. But I mean, I don't want to get it instantly. The second we um. Uh, the second uh, we actually uh, like uh, the, it comes out, because what will happen is uh, when I need to actually replace them with like the AQ50 in a few years' time, uh, like 2015, 2016 time, probably even 2017. Um, if I put them in like the second it came out, they'd be about 20 years old and they'd be out of um, my span pretty much. So yeah, this will be put in probably around, probably even as late as 2002. Who knows? I don't. I don't think I will because uh, yeah. Game, uh, the years in this game do seem quite long, so uh, we will probably be putting in a bit earlier than that. Uh, so yeah, there are our 61 A321s. Um, if you didn't actually see there, uh, where it said the, uh, the BA146 engines are no longer, be, no longer going to be reduced, that is because when uh, the end of last episode I went and said, oh, I'm going to put in these MG90s now, they weren't even delivered yet. <laughs> I'm going to be here for a very, very long time trying to replace all of these 757 routes here. Look at this, there is an absolute uh, ton of them. <laughs> Going from all sorts of different places, uh, yeah, especially since there's a lot of routes which uh, can uh, have that capacity, and uh, probably a lot of them are going to have uh, quite a bit more and earn a bit more money. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, go and uh, put these in.
Okay then, so after about nearly oh, over half an hour of recording, yeah, I have finally done that. Took probably about 40 minutes. The reason why it took so long is the fact that pretty much every single route by about bar about five, um, or even less than that, um, they had to have slot increases. Should I just do AC30 and AC21 next episode as well? Like do another double time lapse? Because I mean they're not going to take that long. They're not going to take that long. They're not going to take that long. So, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah, that took a while. It's probably sped up massively just to keep us on. Because uh, yeah, I am going to be doing it again, another one. So, yeah, I am going to be doing uh, the uh, the AC30. Uh, I don't actually know what I will because simply because, uh, yeah, we don't have enough money. So we might actually have to do that next episode. Uh, yeah, we we could just do something uh, for the rest of this episode, like subordinate, I was going to say subordinate routes, but actually we can't, can we? <laughs> no, we can't, because the AC30 is what is going to be uh, our replacement of the subordinate route, so yeah. I just thought, well, we, uh, in fact, these will actually give us a bunch of money. Oh, there we go, so yeah. <laughs> We've now got, we have in fact now got a quite mixed fleet. We've got Concorde, which I guess we can say is Airbus, AC21, which is Airbus, AC100, which is Airbus, um, and the, the only Boeing aircraft we have is 747. Wow, I didn't realise that. That just shows, uh, yeah, how much replacing we've been doing, but yeah, there's nothing like this until the A380 comes out uh, in 2007. Uh, so yeah, I don't expect this to go out of service anytime soon. So yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, what we'll be doing then is, uh, yeah, and possibly uh, look, just looking around at other routes that we could do. I should think, because uh, yeah, those are all now uh, put in. Uh, so yeah, I mean there is, there just seems to be quite a few routes like with the MG9 that I guess I could get like the cheapest version. Or, do you know what we could do? Should we just wait until like the Fokker 70 comes out? Because I swear that's going to come out soon. We could do that. I don't know if it's going to be this episode, but I think we could do that next episode because uh, yeah. And so I'm gonna be, oh yeah, we're going to look at how our stuff is doing, aren't we? And like these 8 to 21s and stuff. Hopefully this should give us an increase in profit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until... Um, I'm going to go to August. Um, and then I'm also... It's only 75 million. Right, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go through um, uh, August as well. Just to the end of that. So we can get a bit more money coming in. And there's a, yeah, a typhoon in a random place. Uh, yeah, just so we can just have a look. Uh, how these uh, routes are doing. Because uh, yeah, 681 million now. I think we know that those A321s are doing doing a good job, so yeah. And that's very nice. Uh, ooh! I've got the Beluga coming out. Yeah, if you didn't actually see, I had to upgrade Los Angeles Airport, because uh, yeah, we have run out of slots there, so... I'm upgrading this. Uh, oh, I was just saying that. Okay then. Uh, so yeah, whoa, we have got quite a bit of money now. We're not going to be able to replace it, because it took about 6 billion to replace 60 A321s, and they're about... Okay, how much are they? I don't know, but yeah, that that is a uh, that they cost quite a bit uh, less than uh, than um, 150 million than the AC30. So this one's going to be about 12 billion to replace all of these, or slightly less than that, uh, simply because uh, yeah, we have got less of them. But still, this is going to take quite a while. So I don't imagine to, for us to be able to replace much of these. I mean, we could in theory, um, possibly uh, just um, unload a bunch of these later on. I think what we'll do is I'll just I'll go through a few turns outside of episode, and then what I'll do is I'll just, uh, yeah. And then I'll go and just, uh, and, uh, <coughs> and actually, um, uh, yeah, start, uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, getting a bit more money to all the above these planes. I just want to have a little bit more going on, because, uh, yeah, when the small variant of that comes out, you'll know about it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, um, I'm trying to think more of it. Do you know what we could do? We could use them on the sort of routes between like small places and other small places. So like this, um, like the Ahama to Casper, we can uh, Omaha, um, um, Omaha. I thought I always said Ahama. I think Omaha. We can do that, and uh, between Casper and Omaha, we can use that as a Fokker 70 because uh, yeah, that hasn't got very, very um, hasn't got very uh, high popularity. Yeah, that would work. Why didn't you just think about that before, you idiot? Anyway. <laughs> No, I don't want to keep on saying that, so yeah. I'm just going to have a look at all our routes, I think, so yeah, just just we have the time, so. I think, yeah, I think it's just organised by when they set up, which is better, so yeah, look at that. First uh, four routes, uh, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston, they're all making loads of money with the 747. We've got some A300s here, 
Uh, but yeah, by the looks of it, these are all making lots of money. In fact, I do want to actually organise by playing, because uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for uh, 7 by 7 In fact, I was looking for MD90s, weren't I? And okay then. Yeah, by well, the looks of it, we are doing alright. I mean, they are getting, even if they don't get exactly 100% capacity, then that shows that that's the biggest capacity that they could have, which is good, so... Yeah, um, it is uh, definitely showing that that's MD11. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, th th that's definitely uh, very good, uh, the fact that they are uh, all pretty profitable. I mean, they do not make much. What's that, 3 million I'm seeing here? That's the highest I can see. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like 3 million, nearly, th oh, uh, nearly 3 million, 500, uh, yeah, 3.5 million I can see, but... Yeah, not all of these are uh, very, very popular, so yeah, uh, that is uh, <laughs> probably not something we're going to see, but... Uh, well, uh, the uh, MD-11s, look at the MD-11s, absolutely flying. Los Angeles to Auckland, that is because, uh, yeah, that is a not very um, popular route, because, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to New Zealand, but I think I might keep it open, because why not? Uh, yeah, be a sort of a good thing to do. Uh, so, yeah, uh, these are all pretty good by the looks of it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> all 100%. Uh, yeah, uh, Los Angeles to Lagos as well, that's uh, doing pretty well. Uh, even if it's not exactly 100%, look at all of these. <laughs> now we've got Concord. Uh, yeah, uh, Manchester is 100% uh, occupancy apparently. Alright, so these not so much, but they are making quite a bit of money. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, we've got the rest of our 747s, which are, yeah, are making loads and loads of money for us, which is very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, go past uh, all of these and... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is that going to scroll like, right back to the top? Um, no, thank God. <laughs> If we did, that would have been annoyed. Uh, so yeah. Uh huh. Eighty twenty one. Here we go. Look at this. A hundred percent occupancy on almost everything. Good grief of love. Yeah, I mean they're not that they're not that high a capacity than um the seven point seven. The difference about them is I haven't got a first class, and I think that was actually a drag because I mean I wouldn't I wasn't really filling up the seats. It was showing like when I was replacing them, it was showing like fifty percent occupancy on them. I think that um. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't really have them on in the first place, unless I'm doing um like sort of like long haul seven place seven routes, and I could have them in, but not um, and not on a yeah, uh, like just uh, the um, domestic or regional routes so with it or medium haul routes. Uh, I did go into the eighty hundreds here. They are doing quite well, but yeah, as I said, uh, the eighty thirties will be going in there, which is hopefully a bump up profits uh, for them because uh, yeah, they're not doing too well. Why is Orlando to Miami not that good? Oh yeah, I think I know why. Cause uh, yeah. Uh, we did see why that was, what, didn't we? And uh, that's uh, the end of all the routes we have, so... Uh, let's just have a look at Orlando to Miami, because, uh, yeah... <laughs> just want to see, um... Yeah, you know, that was doing... Uh, so, yeah, is it because... Uh, which one has got the lower... Oh, it's uh, Orlando, by the looks of it. Uh, so, I think it might just be the business that's the drag on that on its profitability. Um, yes, it does seem to be. Should we take out first class out of that route? I'm thinking about doing that. Or we could just lower the prices. Let's lower the prices of it just because there isn't that much. You know, let's just put them all down to one. <laughs> and, oh, look at that. They're all at like uh, the uh, most zero prices there. So I am putting the prices down. That will just bump up its um, capacity because I mean, a lot of these, uh, it's arguments, sorry, because I mean, yeah. A lot of these, even if they are, I mean, they could run profitable services. It's just that I've got the prices a bit too high on some of them. I mean, a lot of them, they are pretty low, you could say, but. Uh, overall, they are. Uh, uh, like, uh, well, a lot of them are low, but uh, yeah, uh, there are uh, quite a few that uh, yeah uh, need to be lowered a bit. And so, yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at the MD90. I just like it. <laughs> I love the old mad dog, so because uh, yeah, last episode I was going mad dog mad, wasn't I? <laughs> MD11s, MD90s, <laughs> sort of like that. And uh, yeah, now we're doing AT21, so. Yeah, probably is a bit of a shorter episode than the last one, but yeah, as I did say, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a bit of a yeah sort of a weird episode. I mean, I was I was hoping to do a few thirty today, but one, we don't really have enough money, and two, uh, yeah, uh, we uh, that time lapse was going a lot longer than I expected. So yeah, I think we didn't see the episode, and uh, so yeah, we still are making uh, over six uh, million, uh, six hundred million, sorry, <laughs> six million is nothing in this game, and uh, yeah. And pretty good, they're just uh, coming out in September. Uh, so yeah, uh, anything else that's come out recently? <laughs> oh. My. God. Look at her butt. <laughs>
One of my most favourite planes is now on the market. Look at that. So, it does actually have more range than the Fokker 70. Uh, the Fokker 100, sorry. And it's a lot slower. I never saw that before. And so, yeah, it does have, uh, it does have um, a lower capacity. But yeah, as I said, we will be using these on uh, the lower capacity routes. Um, and, uh, yeah, sort of between... Um, and sort of between, what is it, uh, like Omar and Casper, as I showed you, so yeah. Hopefully, sh should we do that next episode instead? <laughs> yeah, I think we might. <laughs> we might set up our first 10, simply just to um, sort of like earn us a bit more money, but, but yeah, because, um, well, just while we go, uh, yeah, as I said, earn a bit more money because uh, we kind of need it to get those 50s, uh, 30s in, and I'd like to get them all in one go. If I can, well, I, yeah, sort of close together, I don't want them all sort of like entering servers at all sorts of different times, so yeah. And hopefully we can do that, but yeah, next episode, as I said, will be all about this plane. I know I keep on bodging back the uh, the A330 replacement uh, quite a while, but yeah. <laughs> this is uh, the uh, the, um, the time to actually put it in now, because uh, yeah, this isn't actually in production for very long. And yeah, it goes out of production in 1997, so yeah, that'll be that. There we go. <laughs> I think we did pretty well today. So again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video if you just touch that one as well. Bye!